share the warmth. Heaven forbid I should ever hear myself on the radio. I think I'd die of fright or laughter, whichever comes first. And so might his subjects and listeners. For John Lydon is back, not as a singer, but as a radio commentator, taking on rock history as only he can. In 1981, on February the 2nd, if there's any one moment that you could cite as the beginning of the end, well, this could be it. John Taylor of Duran Duran at the time is quoted as saying, Disco's pretty good on its own, but a lot of the vocals wreck it. What we're doing is European white disco. And that he's proud of? Playing with historical facts and bits and pieces that bands would rather not have you know about. It's all those little skeletons in the cupboard that amuses me greatly. I just like telling it like it is. I've got no time for bullshit and fantasy and, or any of that. It's, that's why I fit in so well here. Don't I just look gorgeous? Everything ever written we sift through with a fine tooth comb. And that's the most difficult part, is making sure that what we say here be as factual as we can give it. And I just loved a big whacking check that was waved under my eyes originally, and since then, I suppose I've grown to love the work ethic. Look, close up on the wonderful world of music. Or is that mucus? The biggest and saddest thing is the stupid rock deaths that we have to include. There's just so many of them. Do these people never learn? If you're going to be shy, don't be in the music industry because there's no place for it. This is all about ego. Not many of us are prepared to admit that, but I am. Of course, Leiden's also more prepared than most of that in his opinion. Not just on Pop's past, but on current stars too. If I said Alanis Morissette to you. Awful. Don't understand it. Whitney Houston. Oh, please. Next. Putting in the glowfish. Vile. Absolutely vile. MTV, you should be ashamed of yourselves for playing that video. That is just barroom crud. So what do you think of gangster rap? If you're that tough, you don't need to talk about it. You just are. And stop dissing women. It's, it's a, a right piss-off and it's extremely childish. It's not for me, I'm afraid. Hey, old bitch, got any more questions? <laughs> yes, Leiden may have a new role these days, but something will never change. I'm just permanently agitated by everything and anyone. I cannot help it. It's the way I am. Leiden's Rotten Day rants are being aired on radio stations in Boston, Nashville, New Orleans, and New York City, and other outlets in search of twisted cheer will no doubt soon be lining up. Leiden will have a new solo album out in the new year, and if you haven't read his autobiography, a surprisingly moving book called Rotten, No Irish, No Blacks, No Dogs, do seek it out. It's well worth a read. Not about...